Uh, I have been playing an absolute ton of Genshin on my off stream time. We've been streaming it pretty regularly for the last month and a half or so. Today's segment is sponsored by Twitch Bounty Board. You want an easy way to support my content, hang out for that. Genshin, if you haven't seen it, is an open world uh, RPG game here. We are getting ready to head to Inazuma. What can I do for you, traveler? Ah, yes. I've heard that you've already made arrangements with the captain of the Crux Fleet regarding your passage to Inazuma. Is that correct? Is correct, Catherine. Now that I think about it, it's been quite some time since I last visited those lands. Unfortunately, I don't have any current intel that would be worth sharing with you. There you are. You're the traveler that Beidou will be taking to Inazuma, right? The fleet is nearly completed reprovisioning. Once the crews have taken a headcount, we can get underway. Captain Beidou sent me to come get you. We'll weigh anchor as soon as you're aboard. Seems Beidou is the captain of our word. Let's do it. Of course. There are many things that the captain insists upon. I'm sure you'll see for yourself once you're on board. So you'll be heading off then? I suppose congratulations are in order. Whether the journey before you leads to the heights of the heavens or the depths of the abyss, each step you take is another achievement. I do enjoy achievements, Until we meet again. Ad Astra Ebisosk. Oh, it's kind of hard to say goodbye now. We practically see each other every day. Oh man, is there no Catherine in, in, in a Zuma chat? <laughs> well, if that's how you feel, why not come and find me when you arrive? I'll be awaiting you on Narukami Island. <laughs> to get all sappy now <laughs> well i guess it's time for you to bid farewell to liyue harbor now that i've delivered my message i'll be heading back the ship is currently anchored off of guyan stone forest okay thanks for coming all this way to let us know Catherine is a yeah, turtle she's like nurse orders. joy right i'll see you two aboard the alcor yeah this one's been a, fun, a, a ton of fun tech wizard it's, it's super convenient that you can play across platform too. Like when I'm playing it here on stream, I play on my PS5, but like I do a lot of my off stream playing for Genshin on um, on my my mobile device, my Android. It's nice that the, uh, the account works across both. Get out here and board the ship, huh? Yeah, yeah, I started my account on the on the PS5 and then I linked it up so I could play on my phone too. Thanks everybody chilling for Genshin this afternoon. Appreciate the support. Everybody checking out a fun game. I think we just made this via the jump last time, right? We made it out to the paddle before we ran out of uh it's very chill. The combat is fun and super combo focused, which is which is pleasant. I like unlike more competitive games, I never walk away from a against session feeling annoyed. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. When the bar runs out, you drown, shit. Do I have stamina food? <laughs> Didn't need stamina food. Come on now. Nailed it. Skillfully calculated. Ah, you finally made it. All these years, come rain or storm, the Crux fleet has never suffered a delay. If it were anyone else, I might have set sail already. <laughs> Don't look too serious. I'm only joking. You're just on time. The crew have just finished making final preparations. <sighs> well, now that everyone's here, we set sail for the land engulfed by storm and tempest. The nation of eternity. Anchors away! <sighs> <sighs> I 
Charles, our bird friend. <laughs> <laughs> The ship has a lot of mechanics to move forward, champ. We've got sails. We've got oars. We've got whatever the things that are spinning in the background are. Okay. Chat. So you finally made it. You sure kept me waiting, Captain. Uh, Genshin's monetization is largely monetized via extra characters you can get via loot boxes, but you can do all the story content without ever, without ever touching a loot box with things you just get for free if you want. It's actually a lot less aggressive than a lot of other games of the gotcha style. There are there are loot boxes, but they don't like constantly throw them in your face, and there aren't like buy this deals that pop up constantly, which is great. I much, much prefer how Genshin's monetized versus most other games that are free to play. And it appears we have a couple of stowaways. Or perhaps I should say, honored guests. You can blame your almighty Shogun. The tempests around Inazuma have been growing all the more fierce lately. Though the fleet was fully up to the challenge, the inclement weather still caused some delay. Now then, let me introduce everyone. This is Toma, a trade partner that I've gotten to know recently. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to see you. Toma, these two are... Oh, no need for introductions. Their reputation precedes them. It seems even the stormy seas can't keep rumors of these outlander sterling deeds at bay. <laughs> oh, it's sure nice to hear you say that. <laughs> With any luck, it'll give you a head start here. Toma's resided on Rito for quite some time now. It wouldn't be going too far to say he's the fixer around these parts. If you run into any problems here, just talk to Toma. But if he tries to pull any moves on you, I'll be sure to deal with him personally the next time I'm around. <laughs> no need to worry. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Good. Then if it's all settled, I'll be going. I wouldn't want to be caught with my sails down here. I do have a wanted fugitive on board after all. Right, Kazuha. Until next time, traveler. Remember to give it your all, no matter what perilous storms you may encounter. Fair seas, Captain Beto. Bye bye. Now then, first things first. We need to go get you registered at the border checkpoint. Um, Paimon thought we were supposed to be keeping things on the down low. Are we just gonna walk into the government's hands? Not the government. <laughs> Don't underestimate the reaches of the Sokoku Decree. You wouldn't be able to avoid inspection even if you tried. So we have to play by the rules, even if we're kind of bending them. I'm sure this works out great for us, Jen. Hello? Please state your name, identity, and the purpose of your visit. Oh, except you, Toma. You must be... new here. Uh -huh. Excuse me? Please provide the information requested, and also declare any goods you are carrying with you. Oh, well, I'm sorry. We cannot approve entry for purely personal reasons. So, unless you have a valid reason for visiting in accordance with the rules... Um... 
My apologies, but I'll have to ask you to... Here are their entry papers, for your kind perusal. He's got the hookup, chap. Ugh, take your time. No rush or anything. <laughs> I just wanted to see what you'd say. Sorry about that. I see. Okay. Your papers are all in order. Welcome to retail. <sighs> so, where do we go next? The Outlander Affairs Agency. Uh, they only check entry permits here. If you want to remain on Rito, there's a process you have to go through with them. Sheesh. So it is super strict, just like everyone says. Well, let's not forget that to everyday folk in Inazuma, people from everywhere else are referred to as outsiders. As the word suggests, outlanders aren't very welcome in Inazuma with the Sokoku decree in force. Not even on Rito, where they've established an outsider settlement. <laughs> I like how you think. I've got a feeling we're going to get along very well. Now, let's head over to the Outlander Affairs Agency. Most of the current rules were put in place by the administration of Rito, the Kanjo Commission. The Kanjo Commission? Yes, one mm. brand. I need to stop and grab this later. Probably want to do the mission first, I assume, though. This area is based on Japan from the 1800s. Okay, most of the regions are based on places in real life, right? <sighs> You've completed the entry procedures, yes? And now you want to apply for residency, both of you? Yes, please. Okay, the processing fee will be two million mora. Two million? For a processing fee? Are you serious? That's right. One million per applicant, which makes two million total. Don't worry. You can trust my math. Paimon wasn't so much questioning your math as... <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, these two here are good friends of mine. I think you'll find I'm one face you recognize. Ah, Mr. Toma, it's you. By way of courtesy, allow me to reduce it to 400,000 mora total. She's totally scamming us, isn't she, chap? <laughs> Thank you ever so much, Miss Eureka. But as this is just a processing fee, I think 600 mora should cover it if I'm paying on their behalf. I'll treat you to dinner too. How does that sound? That's not how you haggle! By all means, bargain the price down, but... All right, then. As you wish, Mr. Toma. I will make a record. <laughs> Much obliged. I want him negotiating all of our deals from now on, Chip. Maybe, maybe he has a book. What? She went from two million down to six hundred? There's something seriously wrong with people's sense of finance around here. <laughs> it's not as mind-boggling as you think. A processing fee is just a figure of speech. The way some here at the agency see it, the fees are easy money. So it becomes a question of how much they can make. Was grifting us. So when the day comes that some poor merchant from overseas with more money than cents gets stuck here and needs to apply for residency... Then they'll milk them for all their worth. <laughs> exactly. It's at times like this that having a local friend really comes in handy. Yeah, my stream should have drops enabled. Should see, are those still going on? I wasn't sure what the, the window was on those offhand. Yes, but when you're an outlander in Inazuma, far from home in this close nation era, there's very little that can be done about it. The most that overseas merchants can do to look after themselves is stick together. That's how the International Trade Association came about. So it's a trade association built by and for Outlanders? Yep. And as well as advancing commercial interests, the association provides help, support, and structure for Outlanders trying to survive on Rito. Hey, Balasar, thanks for the over two years. Appreciate the 27 months. Welcome back. Thanks for hanging out for some Genshin this afternoon. Essentially, it's an association devoted to both commercial excellence and survival skills. Sounds 
like just staying alive is an achievement when you're an outlander in Inazuma. I see. Not wrong. So this is the real purpose of your trip. Yes, given that you are outlanders, it's certainly a lofty aspiration. After all, the Raiden Shogun is the most exalted and revered one in all of Inazuma. She is a deity who reigns on high, while all other life gazes up in awe. Huh. I was going to say nothing is set in stone when it comes to who you will encounter in this world. Who's to say you won't happen to run into the Raiden Shogun one day after lunch? Okay, I'll give it to you straight. I know of a way to introduce you to the Raiden Shogun. Really? Wow, the Rito Fixer is better connected than we thought. <laughs> I mean, it will take all the resources I have at my disposal, but it can be done. However, before we get there, connections come at a high price, you understand? <laughs> no, no. In this instance, when I say price, I'm not talking about Mora. In fact, there's no real cost as such. It's just that if this is something you really want, you'll have to agree to help other people solve some of their problems first. I will fetch quests. I like to do Point things me in a, a way direction. That keeps everybody happy. It's my own personal rule for dealing with situations like this. Sounds very reasonable to Paima. You're the man in the middle. So you have to trade favors to keep everyone indebted to you. It's the job, bud. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling you're making me out to be some sort of crook? Uh, never mind. Here's the situation. As I touched upon earlier, the members of the International Trade Association are constantly struggling to survive. Recently, things seem to have gotten more difficult than ever for them, so just go and check things out. See if there's any way you can help. The head of the association is called Carisio, and he's a good friend of mine. Go talk to him. I'll wait for you here. Alright, let's run and tag this map real quick, and then we'll we'll go talk to him. I'd like my map to be revealed, game. Drops are definitely still alive, and I just got one. Sweet! You decided to check Genshin out, make sure you link your Genshin account to your Twitch account and you get some freebies just bringing it out in the stream. Be sure in for a couple hours this afternoon again. Genshin. We'll do some more later this week and next week too. Oh, there's multiple islands. Okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. This area is pretty large. The map in this game is just absolutely massive. We collect the electricals here. New area, new element. Yeah, it's really neat, like, having an open world game that gets more added to over time. Because there's eventually going to be at least seven regions based on the story, right? Trade Association. Huh? Hello there. You must be seeking refuge with the International Trade Association. <sighs> the Outlander Affairs Agency took you for all your worth, I suppose. Ah, oh, good. That's a relief. <sighs> you need to be careful, or you'll find yourself losing your savings all at once. We heard the Association has been having some difficulties lately. Is that true? Yes, left, right, and center. Obstacles at every turn. But that's nothing new for us. The Sakoku Decree certainly makes things difficult for anyone who wants to come here from overseas. But it's not the root cause of our woes. The Sakoku Decree might restrict our scope of activity, but in and of itself, it doesn't stop us from being able to enjoy a comfortable existence. No. What's really squeezing us Outlander merchants dry is those Mora Grubbers from the Kanjo Commission. Oh, of the three commissions, that's the one that oversees everything on retail, isn't it? 
That's right. They impose astronomical tax rate, unbelievable regulations, and that's not the worst of it. They just issued a new tax decree recently that, for some reason, completely changes the way we pay our taxes. It used to be Mora, but now it's something called Crystal Marrow. Crystal Marrow? Gotta, gotta obfuscate it, Chip. Uh, something that most of us in the association had never heard of before either, until the new decree came along. Eventually, one of the older Liyue merchants recalled that he once shipped a batch of it to Snezhnaya in his youth. So, in order to pay our taxes, we began an arduous search for this crystal marrow. But then we found we'd only managed to create a bigger problem for ourselves. The rising demand for crystal marrow drove the price higher and higher. That's quite the racket. Now there's only one vendor who even has it in stock. We can't get a hold of it anywhere else. Uh, isn't that what they call a monopoly? Exactly. So this vendor keeps pushing the price up, and we have no choice but to buy from them because the tax decree forces us to. There's some solidly greased wheels. It's a vicious cycle, the consequence of which is that our taxes will soon exceed our profits. And once that happens... <sighs> we've tried communicating with the commission directly, but this is a nation where the cries of a few struggling merchants will never be heard over the ever-present roar of thunder. <sighs> Montaigne, my dear homeland. I miss you an awful lot at the moment. Sounds awful. They're really bleeding them dry. What do you think we should do? Uh, that vendor. I've actually done business with him in the past, but after a point he stopped contacting us. I have no idea where he sources this stuff. Hmm. Well, it definitely sounds like he's being unfair. How do we find him? We could go talk to him and see if he lets anything slip. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. Since you're not affiliated with the association and you're new to Rito, he may just let his guard down. If I remember correctly, our usual meeting point with him is under a tree by the coast in the residential district. See if you can find him there. Got it! We're on the case! The trees and the leaves are very pretty sitting here. Huh? I don't think I recognize you. Are you new arrivals? So, what do you need with me? The sheer nerve. You don't go around asking questions like that. If I gave you my sources, I might as well hand you the whole darn business. Trade secret, got it? You know what trade and secret mean, right? This guy's got a bad attitude. Ha! <laughs> Are you even buying? Oh, I see what's going on here. Karisu and his associates sent you here to try and plead their case, didn't they? He's not wrong. They're wasting their time. The price is non-negotiable. Not by a single Mora. Hey, what's your problem? Get out of here, go on. Tell them they're lucky to be buying from me in the first place, and they ought to be more grateful. If it weren't for me, they'd be in seriously hot water. What are we gonna do? There's no talking to this guy. Good idea. Let's check back in with him. Hmm? That was quick. You resolved it already? Not um, quite, bud. Actually, we're having a little trouble. You're going to have to help us help oh? you. Well, by all means, tell me what you need. I'll help as much as I can. Getting you to go fixing things when you've only just arrived is quite a demand. Oh, that guy? I'm familiar. He used to be a bit of a sorry sight, selling shells that he collect on the beach just to get by. But he seems to have suddenly shot up in the world recently. I can only assume he must have found himself a patron after leaving the International Trade Association. Huh. You're saying he used to be a member of the International Trade Association? 
So he's an outlander too? Yes. Couldn't you tell when you spoke to him? That's right. Werner was born in Mondstadt, then went into the shipping business, trading between Leah and Inazuma. When Inazuma closed to the outside world, he was one of a group of outlanders that ended up stranded on Rito. Huh. What a bummer. The International Trade Association was initially very generous to him, but over time, with decree after decree, the association members found it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. So he left the association and turned his back on them. <laughs> I'm sure it's more nuanced than that. I believe even the most ungrateful and cold-hearted of people still have some amount of gratitude and warmth left in them somewhere. Don't worry, buddy. You'll get that optimism beaten out of you eventually. Really? Is that all you need to know? Well then, it sounds like you may have found a way in with him. It's weird that they can't get off the island. Like, I understand not letting people in. Do you want to close up your borders? Why wouldn't you let people out? What are you doing back here? Just because I got plenty of time on my hands doesn't mean I want to waste any of it talking to you. Huh? Where is this coming from? Dandelion wine sure would be nice on a day like this. Mondstadt? You were talking about... Monster. Er. Do I not have the item he wants? Oh, these are all Monstan things. We could give him one of them. Goodness, I can sense it now. So familiar, but I can't remember the last time I was there. <sighs> the scent of Mondstadt. Oh, how it takes me back. Oh, my hometown, the home of freedom. How I long to go back and visit. Oh, it's working! <sighs> oh, oh. <clears throat> so, trying to play my heartstrings like a liar, are you? I know what you're up to. Huh? What is this? What are you up to now? Close your eyes already! You mean... the sound of the ocean? <gasps> Leah Harbor! I can see it so clearly. Uh, oh, and the sound of the waves! The calls of the merchants! Xiao Lanterns! <laughs> I'm right there at the lantern right! Oh, look at them floating up into the sky. This guy has a really active imagination. Either that, or he really does miss Leela Harbor. <sighs> Leela. Leela. I want to give him something from there, too. Sure. Wait. Stop. That's enough. Don't make me relive it anymore. My poor heart can't take it. You mean... The folks from the International Trade Association. And I suppose they are far from home, just like me. You can tell this is a fantasy chat, because we've taught him empathy here in the span of three minutes, and that's just not possible in real life. Often, I'll sneak down to the shore at night and listen to the sound of the waves. I like to imagine it's the voice of my hometown, carried across the ocean. I've run into folks from the association more than a few times doing just that, but I always hide my face and slip away. <sighs> Don't you think I've wanted to talk things through with them and free myself from this anguish? Um, well, no one's stopping you, so... <sighs> They're so resilient. None of them had anyone else to rely on, so they rallied together, committed to finding a way to survive. But I couldn't do it. I'm not strong enough. So... I caved. Those people, they'd make the smallest of promises, offer the most measly benefits, and I'd do whatever they asked of me. And make Mondstatters look like the worst people in the world. All right, I'll tell you the whole story. It's eating me up inside, and I can't take it anymore. You ready to talk now? National Trade Association will protect you. Come get a drink with your friends from the association. But I betrayed them. 
I can't show my face there. Uh, come on, you scaredy cat. Look, you messed up, but now it's time to make things right. So come on, get it off your chest. What's the deal here? It's a scheme by the tax collection Ashigaru. Keijiro and his companions. They start by overtaxing the merchants, then take the extra crystal marrow they receive and stockpile it. Once the merchants run out of places to buy crystal marrow, they get me to sell that extra stock back to the merchants at an extortionate price, with the proceeds going to the tax collection Ashigaru. It's just... it's plain evil gouging them like this. Capitalism! I'm their puppet, yes. But my cut is a tiny fraction of what we take in total. It's barely enough for me to live on. Evidence? Hmm. You're right. Without conclusive evidence, he will never admit it. Now that I think about it, whenever I report back to him after a sale, he always heads to the same place. It's always made me suspicious. As it happens, I handed some Mora over to him not long ago. I, I can show you where he went if you want. All right, let's do it, my dude. Let's go! Keijiro, it's him! It's a stealth mission? Kinda? is behind on paint. He's getting further and further away. Let's catch up a little. Hmm. What was that sound? Shh. Quiet. Don't let him find us. Must be hearing things. Ah, Drat. I'm behind schedule. I need to hurry. What could he be doing at a place like this? It looks like he buried something over there, didn't it? Why don't we take a look? Ah, <laughs> yes, the real reason Paimon came along. <laughs> yeah. Let me take a look here. Ah, yes. This is what we're looking for. A clear and complete record of every single transaction, each one proof of his guilt. Great. Well, now we have our hard evidence. Let's go tell Carissa the good news, shall we? Uh, um, I'll, I'll say goodbye to you here then. I... I need a little more time before I'm ready to face the head of the association. I'm sorry. Is he wearing socks with sandals, Chet? Huh. Poor Werner is a pretty awkward guy, huh? That's fitting for someone who looks like they're wearing socks with sandals. The real reason for his hesitancy, exactly. We got him. But we really don't have anything left. If this keeps up, our sales will come in at a loss. 
There'll be nothing left for us to do but starve. You know the decree. The rules are the rules. No discounts, no exceptions, and no excuses. Hmm? And who are you? Another new member of the association? Gotcha, bud. So now we're here to tell everyone all about how you embezzled Crystal Marrow to sell it right back to the taxpayers. Huh? Is this true? You've been swindling us. Well, uh, you, you, you see, the, the ta taxes, uh... Let me take a look at the ledger. Well, would you look at that? Every payment the association has made is right here in your personal ledger. So, Mr. Keijiro, it seems you have some explaining to do. How shall we settle this, hmm? Fisticuffs! <laughs> so you think you can use this against me, do you? I it's quite obvious that I'm merely trying to earn a modest living for myself, like anyone else! Is everybody here trying to grift people, chat? The lady at the registrar's office, this guy... Word has it that Samurai and the Commission place great importance on reputation and prestige. Though I'm sure Commission members won't blame you once word gets out. Huh? Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? No, not at all. I'm simply stating that it would be quite a pity if an illustrious gentleman such as yourself were to have their reputation tarnished. The promise, buddy. Uh, well, even if what you say is true, what do you suggest we do about it? I'm not saying it's true, but if it is true, how would we fix it? Let's make this right. I believe you still have a quantity of crystal marrow in your possession, correct? Perhaps that crystal marrow could be used as compensation for the recent tax hike. And us merchants could finally have some more breathing room. Is that it? Oh, do you have any idea the hoops I had to jump through to get the crystal marrow and keep it hidden? Oh, fine. In that case, I'll send it over to you today. And not even an ounce of shame for his actions. So that's it? My shop's been closed for weeks now. I've even had to ask my friends to help bail me out. What about my losses? Come on, Harrison. We've already struck a good deal here. You though? I'm sick of being pushed around like this. I won't let him off so easily. Harrison. Hey, what's all this racket? Does someone dare question the decree? Ah, Chief, you've arrived. What was all the commotion I heard just now? Oh, we were just discussing a minor tax issue. I do my utmost to lend them a helping hand. But they're never grateful. They are all wearing socks and sandals, Chip. A helping hand? The only thing you're doing is stuffing oh, he's not. greedy pockets with our hard-earned wealth. I assure you that Hirage Shinsuke will hear of this. Oh, and you dare to utter the commissioner's name. You outlanders have no respect for the rules. Seize the merchants. We will resolve this dispute back at headquarters. Uh-oh. This is going in a bad direction. Gentlemen, gentlemen, come now. Is there any need for this? If there's a dispute to resolve, let's get a drink and talk it over. Who are you supposed to be? And why in my right mind would I join you for a drink? Ha! You never heard of the Fixer? Here's my card. Huh. You're from the Yashiro Commission. Shh. Huh. Well, this is Kanjo Commission territory. However powerful the Yashiro Commission may be, you have no business meddling in Rito's affairs. You've no jurisdiction here, bud. <laughs> of course not, of course not. Still, perhaps you could show the young... ...lady of our clan some courtesy. Excuse me? You wouldn't want your name showing up in a petition to the Shogun, would you? That fan, the Shirasagi Himegimi. I don't need any trouble with her. <sighs> okay, let's forget all this. It'll give us one less thing to worry about. But, Chief! Oh, you should have a drops thing on Twitch that you click to claim stuff from, I believe, once you've watched a certain amount. Enough. We're leaving. Let's get dinner one day soon, gentlemen. My treat, I insist. <sighs> no response, huh? I suppose that bridge is well and truly burned, then. Thank you so much, Toma. 
But I'm sorry your relationship with the Kanjo Commission had to suffer for our sake. <laughs> hey, hey, I was joking. It's a small price to pay, and you're more than welcome. If there's anyone you should be thanking, it's the Traveler. He's the one who found a way to turn things around. <sighs> if nothing else, I'm sure the tax collection Ashigaru will tread a little more carefully in the future. Huh? Shh, shh, not here. Too many people listening. <laughs> Let's move somewhere else. This dude is way too happy. <laughs> Corruption seems rife in the Kanjo Commission. They truly are rotten to the core. That seems <sighs> accurate. All right. It's time for me to answer your questions. What would you like to know? <laughs> Straight to the point. Let me reintroduce myself. I belong to the Kamisato clan of the Yashiro Commission on Narukami Island. I'm an attendant of the Shirasagi Himegimi. Uh, you've been keeping your true identity a secret from us this whole time? The Yashiro Commission. Guessing that's another branch of the Tri Commission? Sounds Correct. like it. The Kamisato clan is the head of the Yashiro Commission, who manage ceremonial and cultural affairs. I'd go into more detail on what exactly that covers, but I'm not even sure myself. I'm just someone who was fortunate enough to be taken in by the Kamisato clan. My role is to take care of the daughter of the clan, Kamisato Ayaka, also known as the Shirasagi Himigimi. Seems like she must be super famous in Inazuma, given the reaction of those guys just now. <laughs> oh, most definitely. She's graceful, dignified, and kind-hearted, too. The people of Inazuma quite adore Miss Kamisato. I like it, Teku. I just started playing a couple months ago. It's been a lot of fun. I play a lot of single-player story-driven games like this uh, on stream and off stream as well, and the numbers go up portion of this game. Seems to be very reasonable as well. I have fun farming through dungeons and stuff, doing dailies and stuff like that. I'll probably keep doing it as long as I'm enjoying it. Her fame even somewhat eclipses that of her older brother, Kamisato Ayato, despite the fact that he's the current head of the clan. I suppose those who treat others with compassion earn themselves the same treatment in return. Miss Kamisato's situation certainly seems to attest to that. Take me, for example. I'm just an attendant, and yet she treats me as an equal, as she would a friend. You're asking the right questions, and to be honest, I don't want to keep you in the dark any more than is necessary. Firstly, you should know that being a fixer is not something you can fake. I spent the better part of a month tirelessly building up a network of relationships on the island, and I got to know Captain Beto during that time too. Worked for an entire month, chat. Still pretty good going for just a month's work. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe I have a slight knack for schmoozery, but the main thing was I had to make sure I'd be in time to receive you when you arrived. Schmoozery is a technical term, I'm sure. Inazuma may have closed off to the outside world, but that hasn't stopped a lot of people from hearing about your feats in Monsta and Miyu. So, when Miss Kamisato heard of your intention to come to Inazuma, she began looking forward to your arrival with great anticipation. She's excited to find out whether the rumors are true. That is, that you have what it takes to change the tide of the times. Change the tide of the times? In the test I gave you earlier, although there were a few hiccups at the end, it was you who found the way to turn the situation around. Navigating powerful people, using their character flaws to your advantage, it's just what Miss Kamisato had hoped to see. With your help, even the Vision Hunt Decree... Ever offered to help? Uh, hmm... That's an unexpected development. Perhaps our sources were misleading. Yes, of course. I completely understand, and as agreed, I shall help set that up for you. Huh. Toma sure didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> well, my work on Rito is done. So I suppose this is goodbye for now. Oh, uh, one more thing. This invitation letter is for you. When you get to Narukami Island, you can find me at the Komori Tea House, as per the letter. Good luck with everything. See you soon. I feel like this game does a pretty good mix of, like, there's plenty of stuff to do if you don't want a main quest to. So, like, I don't mind chilling through, like, they're basically, you know, they're, they're interactive stories, chat. I like interactive stories. 
We should get going. There's a problem. What's up? Outlanders are unable to oh, leave Rutu. Right. Paimon forgot all about that. Wait, so did Toma forget that too? Probably not. Oh, darn it! No wonder he was so matter of fact about the whole thing. As soon as we get off Ritu, Paimon's going straight to Kamura Tea House to settle the score. <sighs> well, guess we should give it a try. Let's head to the border and see how far we get. Fifty-one months subscription. I started subbing one year into my degree, and here's hoping I'll still be subbed when I finish it this year. What's going on, Time Lord? Congrats on being ready to finish up. Thanks for hanging out for over four years. Let's tag our waypoint here and see if we can get off of here. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with my loadout. We've got uh, Ganyu and Kakome in the freeze team along with Sucrose and Rosaria. And then I've got uh, uh, Deluke team set up as my secondary for walking through ice stuff. I can leave the Start island, there. please. Present your travel permits. Sorry, but we really gotta get to Narukami Island. It's kinda urgent. If you don't have a travel permit, this is as far as you'll get. Those are the rules. Ah, <sighs> as expected. Traveler, you gotta think of something. How do we get out of Rito? Are you saying we should go and meet with the Kanjo Commissioner? Guess it can't hurt to try. Even if Paimon has a few choice words to say about his subordinates. Who knows? Maybe he's our biggest fan. <laughs> we do seem to have fans here. I assume once we get past this guy, we can just explore this whole area. Halt! This is the Kanjo Commissioner's office. No trespassers. We're here to see, uh, you know, uh, the Kanjo Commissioner? The Kanjo Commissioner seldom entertains outlanders. Leave now or we'll be forced to... Ah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Commissioner! These two are honored guests from afar. No need to give them the usual spiel. Hmm. Come on in. Let's see what we can do for you. Huh. Did you get all that, mister? M my sincere apologies. Uh, I'll be live with some more Snap stuff on the Oglandia Snap YouTube channel this evening when the season rolls over for the new card we'll be getting tonight, which is rumored to be Miles Morales. Should be sweet. He's one of my favorite characters. I am Hiragi Shinsuke, Kanjo Commissioner and Head of the Hiragi Clan. It's an honor to meet you both. Nice to meet you, sir. So, the reason we wanted to come and see you was because... All right, all right, all in good time. Two travelers renowned far and wide have shown up to see me and I should very much like to make their acquaintance. Let's not limit this to business only. We got a schmooze, chat. <laughs> so what saying is, we really are pretty famous, huh? Paimon is enjoying Absolutely. this too much. How many other people in the world have what it takes to knock the wind out of Storm Terror's sails and put the overlord of the Vortex back under the sea, eh? Exactly! Paimon thinks you make an excellent point. Nah, I don't really enjoy my games as full subtitled. Voice acting makes makes stories more enjoyable for me. Chat, I'm a lazy American. I don't want to read everything. And I hear you also foiled a Fatui plot in Liyue Harbor. Even beat one of their harbingers in a duel. Oh, he is setting is us up true? to challenge us, isn't he? Whoa, you heard about that too? Uh, yep, it's true, all right. Hmm, as I thought. Something wrong? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm simply awestruck by you both is all. Rito is greatly honored to have you visit us. One other thing I heard about you is your great zeal for helping other people. Hmm. This makes me wonder. 
whether you might be so kind as to render your assistance to the Kondro Commission. Oh, sure, no problem. Whatever you need, right? This is our fortune. Excellent. Well then, you must know the Qingxin, a flower. Yep, we've picked a few of those before. So, uh, you want us to go back to Lua? Yes, bring me 300 Qingxin, would you? Freshly picked, I mean. E hundred. Uh, did Paimon hear that wrong? They don't stay fresh hmm. after they're picked. Too much trouble, is it? Hmm, I see. Then how about this? We have a few items that need delivering. Perhaps you can help with that? Fetch, I shall. Quest, I go. 709 letters, to be precise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this guy's, this guy's a fan yeah. of big numbers, Shim. Terribly sorry. We're just a little short on people lately. What sort of an explanation is that? Traveler, what are we going to do? Should we really help this guy? That's the spirit. Don't keep me waiting too long now. <laughs> You're seriously considering taking this job? The terms are ridiculous! I like that the game does acknowledge that you should be a big deal in many circumstances. Yeah, that is nice. Instead of them just pretending like your character is a normal person. Hold like, we've two. done impressive things. Huh? What did we do? Miss Hiragi has a letter for you. She insists that you read it immediately. Would that I could convey this message to you in person. I apologize for the hasty. This is my first time extended invitation to unknown outlander. This is no mere coincidence that our paths have crossed. Therefore, I hope you'll be courteous to meet me tonight under the growth of glow of resplendent moonlight. I will ensure that their attention shall be elsewhere. Paimon knew something just didn't seem right about him. Tonight and see what she has to say. Time to wait, said sixteen, eighteen hundred. Finally arrive. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Hiragi Chisato. This is technically the second time we have met. It's a pleasure to see you again. Wow. She's the daughter of the Hiragi clan, all right. N no need to be so formal. I've long marveled at your accomplishments, and at last we have the chance to meet. Does that Paimon or does something seem a bit off here? The reason why I wanted to secretly meet you here is, well, I feared that I might never have another opportunity to discuss this with you. Discuss what? Ahem. I should like to ask for your help with delivering a letter. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> to explain. I was hoping that you could deliver a letter to Narukami Island in my stead. It is to be given to Kujo Kamachi of the Tenryo Commission. My father has always forbidden me from communicating with him. He knows that there are prospects for my marriage that would better serve him politically. But my heart is with Kamachi. 
Arranged marriages doesn't surprise me from this setting. There is no one who would dare defy my father's will on Rito, but you are outlanders. Outlanders seeking to get to Narukami Island. It would be regrettable to let such an opportunity pass. Oh, Paimon gets the whole picture now. Of course, in doing so, I will also do everything in my power to help you leave Rito. That is my promise. To be perfectly honest, as long as you remain in Inazuma, my father will have no intention of letting you leave Rito. Yeah, we figured as much. It was pretty obvious he was just trying to hold us up here. I secretly overheard a conversation between my father and a very arrogant-sounding woman just a few days ago. They seemed to be discussing how to keep you here on Rito. In fact, it was the first time I had ever heard my father speak so respectfully to someone who wasn't the Shogun. We don't have much time. I'll tell you my plans to help you off the island. It just so happens that a shipment of goods is... Well? Very well. I'll be waiting for you at the border. I'm counting on you to deliver my letter. If they thought we couldn't sneak in before, I wonder how this plan's gonna go. Hold on, please. These goods are being sent to... Watatsumi Island? My lady, this is an unexpected honor. Uh, you are correct. These goods have been repeatedly requested by the Kanjo Commissioner. We must be certain that they reach Watatsumi Island intact. Is there something wrong, Lady Hiragi? No, as you were. My father simply has some concerns of the shipment's safety, and has ordered that myself and an additional qualified escort be dispatched to ensure safe transport of the goods. My lady... You aren't suggesting that you intend to escort this shipment personally, are you? There's certainly no need for you to trouble yourself with such a matter. And as for this qualified escort... Please, do not cause us any further delay. If memory serves me right, my father has already asserted that this shipment must arrive on time. I'm certain punishment will be duly dispensed if it fails to do so. Yes, of course, my lady. It, it's just that, well, we don't know who this... Now, need I remind you of the penalty if anything were to happen to me en route? I'm sure you are all quite familiar with my father's temperament. Do you really presume that you can fully guarantee my safety on your own? Boy, Chisato can talk the talk. They don't stand a chance. Uh, uh yes, my lady. Very well, then. It's an honor to have you accompanying us. Your safety is our highest priority. Shinojo, you can't really be agreeing to this. Well, the request is from Lady Hiragi herself. It is our duty to serve her in the utmost capacity. You said yes, jump, but bud. And that's not the problem here. Well then, if we're through here, I suggest we set off at once. Dawdling will only allow potential thieves more time to prepare, no? Yes, my lady. You heard her. There's no time to lose. We have to escort it. Got it. We've had some destroy the balloon missions before. My lady, please stay back. We'll handle it. Not as well as we'll handle it. <laughs> Get down to business. Direct Shiver. Animal hyperstasis emulation. Animal test 6301. Our freeze team's probably pretty good for keeping uh keeping these people off the balloon, huh? We'll take care of this. Stay with Chisato. No touching. Watch out! More monsters inbound. Lady Hurak, stay close. Oh, no. 
We can take refuge in the village up ahead. How are you faring, my lady? I'm perfectly all right. You may stop here. The road to Narukami Island is just over there. In my letter, I've requested Kamaji to grant you a special travel permit from the Tenryo Commission. Consider it a token of my appreciation. My lady. Huh. So that's how it is. I, I had a feeling something was amiss, but Shinojo, you... No, Lady Hiragi would never hide anything from us, I'm sure of it. But who is this Kamaji you speak of, my lady? I'm not afraid to say that he's the one I love. The one you love? Shinojo, did you honestly think that... What? No, I, uh, <clears throat> I was just clarifying, that's all. I, I would never in my wildest dreams, uh... <clears throat> You two needn't worry. Please, forget that this ever happened. If my father catches word of it, I alone will be held accountable. Yes, of course. As you wish, my lady. But what will happen if your actions here are discovered, Chisato? Don't fret. My father has always been one to spoil me. The worst he'd do is sentence me to half a day without food or something <laughs> to that effect. Huh. Paimon never suspected a guy like him could have a son. That's all, Chet. I to wish starve you a for a day. journey. I'm sure we will meet again. Bye, Chisato! Come now. Quit your staring and let's get moving. We've got goods to shift. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Dude, you never had a chance, bud. All right, so we're through, and this is where we're actually have like this area unlocked now. <laughs> Half a day without food would kill my mind, most likely. Okay, so now I have this map open and I can just kind of explore at will. Obviously, there's story quests in here, but like I can like go find. I'm at, I'm at a point where I can finally find upgrade materials for Kokome, right? This is where we find the hydro flower and uh, the uh, the pearls here or whatnot. The Sengo pearls. Tomi's Island has to be unlocked by story progress. Okay, so I still can't find these things. I need to keep pushing the story to get to these. Okay, let's keep pushing this story here. Then I was debating it if I wanted to start the temporary storyline today. But I think we'll, we'll save that. I think we're going to do more Genshin on Thursday. I think we'll probably save that for then, Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, the time limited thing in Mondstadt is uh is voiced and stuff, right? So I was thinking we do that on stream. this out? Is that an enemy? Yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy. 
it's got a pretty reasonable story inside of all of it. And then, uh, the combat is fun too. We haven't done a ton of combat today. Maybe it was a bad one to do. Maybe it was a bad thing to play through. Play through. I was encouraging other people to watch. It was mostly story for the first hour, but it's to a little more open world exploration. Chests appearing out of thin air? This needs research. Eat Electro together, though. Okay, that makes sense. So it's like, everybody just out here just cool with us wandering around then? Because they seem pretty set on not letting us out of the other area. There's a place we're heading up in there, it looks like. Make it till you make it. Walk around like you own it. Solid advice. Almost up to AR-40 and another world jump. person. Yes, Catherine was back there. According to the letter, this should be the place. Sorry, we don't serve the general public. I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Wait, we're not the general public. Well then, you must be a couple of wandering outlanders that snuck into the nation, judging by your attire. This is what I was expecting. <laughs> Yashiro Commission's seal. This must be from Mr. Toma. It seems there's more to you than meets the eye. In which case, welcome to the Komore Tea House, a safe haven for the Yashiro Commission. Well, that sounds more like it. Hmm. She went angry to cordial real quick. The talking Who dog shit. Promise. I was beginning to think you'd forgotten about me. He is the dog. What? Is that dog talking to us? <laughs> Relax. No need to look so surprised. I take it this is the first time you've seen me in this form. Huh? So you didn't see anything like this when you were in Leo Harbor? Ah, uh, now that you mention it, this does suddenly seem less out of the ordinary. <laughs> All right, all right. I've had my fun. Hey, you're this close to getting an ugly nickname, mister. <laughs> well, I've had some time to kill, given that I've been waiting here for you for so long, as was the case in Rito. So I came up with this little fun greeting for when you arrived. But in all seriousness, I would like to apologize about that little test you went through earlier, though it was quite necessary. 
sorry, but I do it again. Whether or not to bring you before Miss Kamisato, and whether you had the courage to face the lightning alongside us. Hmm. Don't think that Paimon's gonna forgive you just because you're getting all serious now. <laughs> sorry, did I overdo it? My apologies. Courage to face the lightning. Let me just say this. You've often found yourself skirting the rules from the very beginning, haven't you? Naturally, this is due to your unwavering and resolute determination. A long time ago, we had a friend who was much the same. But when the lightning struck... Ah, so you've heard of his story. Hmm, his light still burns all the more brightly. Yes, of course. I will bring you to the Kamisato residence where the Yashiro Commission is located. But before that, there is one other place I was hoping you both would accompany me to. Oh? Where? I would like you to come with me to the statue of the Omnipresent God. It's still under construction now, but you can already see it from practically anywhere on Narukami Island. Oh, it's a big statue like they have in Monster. Afternoon mid. This area sure feels gloomy. Uh, people probably don't come here often, do they? Huh? Are Paimon's eyes playing tricks? Or are there things embedded in the statue? Visions. Visions? You mean all the visions that are collected from the Vision Hunt Decree are put into the statue? So you've already heard of the Vision Hunt Decree. I did the Shogun issue the Vision Before Hunt Decree. Before I try to explain, I should perhaps remind you first that Mondstadt is the City of Freedom, and Liyue is the City of Contracts. As for Inazuma, it's known as the Nation of Eternity. The Raiden Shogun is both the nation's most powerful ruler and its deity. The Eternity in question is her endless and unchanging will to rule over Inazuma. As such, she relies on the Tri Commission to regulate the nation's affairs and the Sokoku Decree to limit the people's movement. The Shogun wishes to keep Inazuma in stasis, allowing the stream of time to flow from one end to the other without disturbing it for all time. Thanks, Geizos. Every god has their own will. Thanks for the 39 months. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Of course, this is my own limited understanding. As for the reason behind the recent Vision Hunt Decree, Perhaps the Shogun believes that visions grant people the power to change, and that her eternity doesn't allow for such instability to exist. Whatever the case, the fact is that the Raiden Shogun has dispatched the Tenryo Commission to scour the nation for visions, embedding each one in this statue. And this statue of the Omnipresent God can be seen as Inazuma's symbol of eternity. But if that's the case, the Raiden Shogun is being, oh, I don't know, selfish? <laughs> Only outlanders such as yourselves would ever dare speak out so directly against the Raiden Shogun. And yet, I agree. The Vision Hunt Decree is something that simply should not exist. And Miss Kamisato has been committed to fighting it since the day it was announced. <laughs> Sound? What sound? I didn't hear anything. Did something happen? Yeah, you touched the statue, and then... And then what? Hearing people's visions? Aspirations? 
Hmm. That would seem to confirm the saying. Have you heard it before? That when a person's ambition reaches a certain strength, the gods look upon them with favor. That is where visions come from. In other words, a person's vision represents their ambition. So if what you've just said is true, then the ambitions of these people are stronger than I imagined. So a vision symbolizes ambition and not power. All right, time for the next stop on our tour of Narukami Island, the Kamisato residence. <sighs> Finally! Oh, that's like way up there. Uh, there isn't really a quick way across, huh? Think it's faster to go from here? Think I can make this jump? Okay. Just screw ourselves by coming back here? Wait. Oh, do I need to teleport? Do I need to zoom in? Is that it? Okay, there we go. That's better. I always do that. I forget to zoom in to use the waypoints. Got it, got it, got it. This waypoint's actually pretty reasonable for us. It trips me up that some of the, that some of them are visible when you're further out and others aren't. You have a side quest for the travel permit. I'll, I'll probably do the travel permit side quest off stream. We should make the most of these supplies. Going off weapons and artifacts. I have anything too particular fancy. I farmed one of the recommended sets for Sucrose that chat told me about, but like 
Most of my artifacts will be like 8 to 12. How'd the Fatui make it out here, chat? I thought this was a closed nation. dying? Alright, well then. Well, that's super, super inconvenient. The water is spicy. Purple water is not good. All right, I guess. Well, that's kind of annoying. I guess we should take the road up and around then, huh? Since we're not going through there. Let's tag this and go from here. Healthy body, healthy mind. ones that have water on them by default yet. It makes things easier. trinkets here. Grab our waypoint up here. I assume it's all the way up there. the freeze team with uh, Barbara before we open Kakome. She seems fine. If if anything, the fact that she puts the water like directly on your person makes it a little bit easier to keep water on them in some spots. Hmm. 
Yeah, Zing Q doesn't doesn't do it, but Barbara does. You get her for free. There's a domain or something here. The treasure chest behind us. portaled out like that one bigger guy did. it wasn't too much trouble. Huh? Grab this while we're here. We need like 10 of these to get the first level right. Take us a little bit. Are bad guys gonna pop up when we try and open this? Always. Did he just heal? here for a second. You look, a waypoint.
in the place where the big shots of Inazuma live, huh? Hmm. Paimon kind of expected it to be snazzier. It's hard to top the Jade Chamber. Welcome at last to the Kamisato residence, honored guest. Miss Kamisato is delighted to finally meet you. Is this the Shirasage Himegimi you keep going on about? So, uh, where's she at? <clears throat> oh, uh, behind the screen? Yes. <laughs> As the daughter of the Yashiro Commission, this is how Miss Kamisato is accustomed to receiving guests. Consider it a time-honored tradition within the Yashiro Commission. Forgive me if this is an unwelcome surprise. Eh, makes sense. She's a super important person after all. So how do you know you're actually talking to the right person, champ? Please forgive my lack of courtesy for receiving you in this fashion. Especially following such a long and wearisome journey over the sea. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. And Toma assures me that you do indeed possess the power to change the tide of the times. At present in Inazuma, in the name of the Vision Hunt Decree, the people's aspirations are being senselessly trampled underfoot. Though the Yashiro Commission serves the Shogun, it is the people with whom we share close bonds, given the contact we are required to have with them in the performance of our duties. A Commission's power rises and falls with the trust of their people. Thus, we cannot remain indifferent to this situation without also remaining indifferent to our own fate. Traveler, lend us your power and we can... Did not come to start a rebellion. Oh. <sighs> See, milady, it's just like I said. This will take us nowhere. Going to leave now? Oh, please, wait. Please, don't go. <sighs> I will introduce you to the Raiden Shogun, on one condition. You must fulfill three small wishes on my behalf. What are your wishes? They pertain to three whose visions were taken from them. Perhaps once you've met them, you will understand. Fish one, start a revolution. <laughs> a former samurai who helped carry out the Vision Hunt Decree and the Swordmaster determined to become the best in the world. Does Paimon get that right? Correct. Please do all you can to help them. I will await your return here. <laughs> then you have my gratitude. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do great. Go to Kodana Village and find out what happened. Let's see, where's the person Ayaka told us about? Why are you doing this? Why leave all of a sudden, after all these years? Precisely, it's much too sudden. We've had no time to prepare. The children are desperate for you to take them out to play. Please, we urge you to reconsider. That must be the guy Ayaka told us about. Let's go over and see. Ah, uh, you must also be here to try and convince Tejima to stay. Tejima has protected this place ever since he arrived here 30 years ago. Keeping out the treasure hoarders, fending off any monsters that draw near, resolving quarrels between the villagers. He has put an enormous amount of work into looking after this place, and we all think the world of him. But now, all of a sudden, he says he plans to leave us. We can't help but wonder. Was it something we did? We will gladly apologize if that's the case. All we want is for him to stay. <sighs> if you want my opinion, something to do with the Vision Hunt Decree. It's clear that Tejima had done nothing wrong. 
and still they confiscated his vision. After that, he became a completely different person. Hey, what's going on, lazy kid? Thanks for hanging out for an entire year. Appreciate you dropping your prime off this way again. Let's get your sword to go at that shield. Happy Monday. I can't claim to fully understand it, but I could tell that he'd lost something very important to him. He went off on a walk, alone, circled the village a few times, and then out of the blue, he announced that he was going to leave and become a wanderer. Truth be told, we aren't sure whether trying to keep him here is the right thing to do, but equally, it doesn't feel right to let him leave when he's in this state. He's a lost soul. Seems like he's a well-respected guy around here. I think they're just like telling me his life story right in front of him. What's up, dude? What's going on? Tejima. So what's made you want to up and leave all of a sudden? Me? I... It's not a question of why I want to leave, but a question of what reason I would have to stay. True, but that's not why I chose to stay here. And what made me want to come here 30 years ago? And why have I never wanted to leave in all that time? I don't have answers to those questions because I can't remember anymore. Ever since they took my vision away, it's like a slice of my memory is gone. Well, they said it was the vision is their ambitions, right? So his ambition was to protect this past, place and it's gone now? I knew I wanted to stay here. But whatever resolve I had then, it's gone now. So I thought, what's to stop me from moving around instead? The emptiness inside me will be there either way. Okay. Well, in that case, if we help you rediscover the reason you chose to stay, you won't need to leave anymore, right? Hmm. But if you can't remember anything, it's not gonna be easy. Oh! Maybe if you just try a little harder to remember, then it'll all come flooding back? Oh, that reminds me. Last time I brought Tejima some fruit, I do believe I saw him writing in a diary. Mm, I keep a diary? If you say so. I honestly can't seem to remember. Oh, yes, yes, you do. And what's more, I remember you saying at the time that you wanted to make a note of a few interesting things. Things which would prove very important at a later date. Perfect! So if we want to keep Tejima from leaving, we just need to find his diary. It must be around here somewhere. Let's take a look. If you don't mind, we will leave you to find the diary. We should head back to the village to inform the others of Tejima's situation. This looks like Tejima's diary, all right. Let's see what we have here. Today, the villagers and I got together to cook dried raised salted fish. I messed up and burned mine a little. So I had to pretend that it was Black Snake Head instead. Today, I helped rescue a kid who had fallen in the water. After I pulled him out, he told me that his best friend Bamboo was still in the water. I searched the water the whole afternoon <laughs> before finding out that Bamboo was the name of his pet crab. I went kite flying today. The string broke, so I chased after it as fast as I could. I soon realized I was never going to get it back. So I just found somewhere to sit and watch as it flew away into the distance. Hmm. Seems like your average diary of daily village life. Huh? Wait! There's more! I went to pray at the shrine again today and stayed there a while. The omamori you gave me has faded a little, but it is still my most treasured possession. Now that's the kind of info we're looking for! Time to pay a visit to the shrine! So this is the Omamori Tejima
Emma wrote about. Hmm, interesting. Looking at the color and the design, Paimon would have thought it belonged to a child. But anyway, if he had this with him all the time, there's a chance some of his elemental energy remained on it. Do you think that it might come in handy? Use elemental sight to find clues in the diary. What's going on, Ross? Thanks for the four and a half years. How long have I been playing this game? Uh, daily for like month and a half, two months. If you flip back on the YouTube playlist, whatever the first day is up there, I started playing. And I didn't play, I, I took the London trip slightly after that, but when I got back from London, I've been playing mostly daily. That's fun. Like the I like the combat. The story's been reasonable. I assume we're supposed to follow the purple swirly stuff. Here we are! This seems to be somewhere that Tejima visited a lot. Yeah, I wish I would have poked at it sooner. If you like story-driven stuff, like, as as reminds me of eyes of, like, Breath of the Wild, a typical open-world RPG games, um, Horizon Zero Dawn, Witcher 3, etc. And one of the nice things about it is they're still building on it and developing the world. So there's already a lot of content in it, but there's going to be more areas coming over the next couple of years, almost assuredly. The soil looks like it's been disturbed. Maybe Tejima buried something precious here. Something that kept him in the village all these years? Must be something pretty amazing if it made him stick around for 30 years. Let's dig it up and take a look. A letter! The paper's gone yellow. Must have been written a really long time ago. Honda Village. Sounds you become so separated during Where the war. Go the wait for me in Kodama Village. There will be a safe home for us there. Huh. So the reason Tejima came here was to wait for someone. But he's been here for 30 years. Guess they didn't show up in the end, huh? Well, let's go give Tejima his stuff back and take it from there. What? This story just got more depressing, chat. He, like, lost his vision and his ambition and his memories. And I was like, actually, you were here because you were waiting for someone, but they never showed up. Well, I'll be. That's certainly my handwriting. And I guess the Omamorian letter belonged to me, too. <laughs> but I have no memory of anything that's written in this diary. Still, it's clear that I was waiting for someone here, and that I chose to wait for 30 years. Over the years, I must have made a note of anything interesting, anything that I could share with her when we were finally reunited. <sighs> and just look at all the things that did happen over the years. The time has flown by so quickly. Thirty years feels like the blink of an eye. How could I have forgotten something so important to me? Mm. Mm. Now that I think about it, when my vision was taken from me, it felt like I'd suddenly been... hollowed out. Love, regret, everything I felt for her... It's all disappeared. No, not especially. I like cut out his emotions? After all, I've forgotten who she was. Her face, her voice, the things we experienced together. I barely recall any of it. It's as if she'd never been in my life to begin with. As if all these years have been nothing but a hazy dream. Still plan on leaving. I think maybe not. If this is something I waited most of my life for, I suppose I should carry on waiting. Although, 
What if she were to turn up eventually, only to find I didn't remember so much as her name? Wouldn't that be upsetting for her? When I think about it like that, I do feel a slight tinge of sadness in my heart. How curious. Why am I thinking like this when I don't even remember who she is? It's just like that feeling of emptiness. The feeling that something is missing. <sighs> Thank you both for helping me reconnect with my reason for staying here. I shall remain here and keep waiting for her. Tejima seems to be feeling okay, but still, it makes Paimon really sad. Seems it's just like Ayaka and Toma were saying. If you lose your vision, you lose all your hopes and dreams too. That certainly explains the state Tejima was in earlier. At least we were able to help him, weren't we? <sighs> well, let's go find the next person. Yeah. Hopefully they're not all that depressing. The second one who... They say the Tenryo Commission is directly controlled by the Shogun. They're the ones responsible for maintaining law and order in Inazuma. The ones actually enforcing the Vision Hunt Decree. But why would they take action against one of their own? Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Huh? There seems to be some commotion over there. Let's go see what's happening. I'll ask one more time. Do you intend to withhold this month's emergency provisions? The entire clan is counting on that food. We demand an explanation. How many times do I have to say it? I don't know anything about emergency provisions. You dare deceive us? Those provisions are essential. Do you understand? Not some goods to be pocketed by greedy samurai. You samurai think you can just do whatever you please? The Tenryo Commission will hear of this. Like emergency food? Oh, uh, huh? And who are you? One of Kurosawa's gang, no doubt. Uh, what? We just happened to be passing by! We heard the commotion and came to see what the matter was. I see. You seem to have come just at the right time. Perhaps you can help us settle this matter. This is Kurosawa. He's a samurai and a member of the Shogun's army. They issue emergency provisions to the area, and he's the one responsible for distribution. In the past, we'd simply ask him for provisions and everything would be delivered. Now, he suddenly refuses to give us anything. He's keeping the provisions for himself, I just know it! We'll starve without them! No one seems to care about us. We used to think Kurosawa was a kind man, but he's shown his true colors. He's the same as all the other samurai. It's no wonder all the visions have been confiscated. The Raiden Shogun doesn't need people like him helping her rule the nation. This must be one of the people Ayaka asked us to help. But why would she ever want us to help someone like him? Maybe we should talk to Kurosawa and see what he has to say. Ah, my dude. I've never even heard of these emergency provisions. I don't know whether it's rumors or whether they're trying to blackmail me. But either way, it's ridiculous. If I was hoarding supplies, would I still be the poor man I am today? My own family can barely get by as it is. No, if you'll excuse me, I've got other matters to attend to. And that's the first bit of truth I've heard all day. The Shogun's army told me that I was unworthy of my vision. And they said I was slacking off in my work. Apparently, I'd even disappointed the Raiden Shogun. And that's why they confiscated my vision. Well, that's strange. You were helping enforce the Vision Hunt Decree. Why would you be unworthy of your vision? To be perfectly honest, I don't seem to remember the details. All I know is that I would perform certain things every month. But I don't recall what they were. And it's not just that. I have this unsettling feeling. Like, like someone 
owes me something. Does it have to do with the missing emergency provisions? I didn't take any. Like I said, if I was taking them for myself, I wouldn't be going through such hard times right I now. I was stealing would I really be broke, Chip? No, no was the to answer. It all off, my house was just raided by treasure hoarders, which is why I came here in the first place. I was chasing after them when I got held up by these two. If you don't believe me, go find the treasure hoarders yourself. If there were any emergency provisions to be had, they would have found them. Huh. He seems to be telling the truth. But we better confirm. Let's go round up those treasure hoarders and see what they have to say. We should be able to follow their tracks. They couldn't have gone too far. We really outdid ourselves this time. All those samurai houses packed with goods, <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. I mean, besides that one house. You haven't seen anything yet. There'll be a lot more where this came from. Today's just the beginning. I'll be leading you all on an epic journey of pillage and plunder that will go down in hoarder history. You demand, boss. Hey, it seemed boss. like the treasure hoarders were after. Let's teach him a lesson. All right, string them up, fam. Get him. Another test subject. This is long overdue. Try. Access denied. Animal hyperspace emulation. Oh, there goes all the mora. It's <laughs> hard to steal that. I like how our effects are still swirling around them. Come on, boss. Think of something. <clears throat> Not bad, kid. You ever think of joining the treasure hoarders? We could use someone like you. Kurosawa. Oh, I remember. So he's the one who sent you after us, huh? <laughs> Just our luck. I knew we shouldn't have hit that place. So what did you see inside? Was it stuffed with food supplies? Food supplies? <laughs> you kidding? That place was a complete mess. All we found was a strange looking box. Hopefully with valuables inside. I didn't want anyone else to see it, so I was planning on opening it myself once we got back. But now that you've caught us, how about we make a deal? That little box for our freedom. What do you say? You've got a deal! Now show us what's in the box! Huh? What the? Th there's nothing in here but IOUs! Yeah, a lot of them too! And they all seem to be made out to the owner of a general goods store, a Miss Aoi. We're talking tons of Mora here. We better talk to this Miss Aoi and get to the bottom of this. As for you guys, you're free to go. Just pray that our paths don't cross again. Y yes of course. So, we redeemed ourselves for some IOUs. Uh, does that mean we broke even? Shut it. Let's just get out of here. I like how we let them keep all the other stuff that they stole. Yeah, this game's in a bunch of different languages. So the lips don't really sync to the dialogue. So we go here. Welcome to Tsukumomono Groceries. We've got everything you need. Can I help you find something? Or perhaps, there's something you want to inquire about? Ah, so you're friends of Kurosawa, I take it. <laughs> perhaps you're here to pay off his debts. Whoa, whoa, let's not 
get ahead of ourselves. We're just here to learn where they all came from. How did Kurosawa end up owing you so much money? Did he buy anything super expensive here? Let me think. Kurosawa would come regularly to purchase large quantities of foodstuffs. He'd always put the payment on his own account. However, the price of provisions began to skyrocket recently, and his salary was no longer enough to cover the cost. So, he started writing out IOUs to cover whatever he couldn't afford of the usual amount. Wow, he was buying food for these people, and now they hate him because they thought it was coming from the government. So that's how he was getting those emergency provisions. But why did he have to purchase a usual amount? If the price has increased, couldn't he just buy less? Well, if you think about it, the citizens receiving the emergency provisions must have been carefully calculating how much they needed to sustain them each time. Kurosawa thought that it would be quite the disappointment for them if they found they didn't have enough, especially after such long and careful planning. So he deemed it necessary to take on the debt rather than let the people down. Wow. Kurosawa was purchasing all the emergency provisions at his own expense. And no one ever appreciated what he did. They just complained and held him accountable. People's attitudes will always reflect their circumstances. In the face of hardship, nobody cares to think twice. <sighs> if you ask me, had Kurosawa told everyone the truth about the supplies from the start, then there wouldn't be such a severe backlash now. Of course, I'm sure there would still have been some unrest. What he was doing was truly a thankless deed. As for why he chose to spend his own money on emergency provisions and never tell anyone, I'm still not too clear myself. If you're still curious, why don't you go ask him yourself? I see... That reminds me, it seems that his vision was recently confiscated. Most unfortunate. If he doesn't clear the debt on his name, he'll have no choice but to sell that sword that is so dear to him. Sword? What sword? Oh, didn't he tell you? He possesses a very valuable blade. He's carried it for years now. I've asked him about its origins. He told me that it was a gift from his father, that it was too precious to sell. He'd like an old Japanese dub. You can put it in Japanese if you want it, Robert. And just play it subtitled. In hindsight, I regret that I never made an offer on it. Everything has its price. At least that's what I think. She's not wrong. Why don't you ask him about the sword yourself? Perhaps it'll even provide you with the answers you're looking for. Oh, but before you go, if you would kindly settle today's bill. <laughs> but we didn't buy anything. <laughs> Information is also a kind of commodity. Wouldn't you agree? They're all grifters, Chet. I won't charge much for information about Kurosawa. Nothing we ever discussed was explicitly confidential anyway. Oh, let me think. 2,000 mora should be a fair price. At least we now know where the emergency provisions are coming from. Plus, we found out that Kurosawa has a priceless sword in his possession. Let's go talk to Kurosawa again and see if he can remember anything. Yeah, everybody, everybody wants a piece of us, Chip. Everyone's like, this is, this is the mark. Just money falling out of our pockets as we walk down the street. Yes. Um, what are you doing here all by yourself? Where did those other two go? I presented them with a choice. Either they left or I drew my sword. They left. It turned out to be a real time saver, actually. Perhaps I should start using it more often. Did you manage to track down the treasure hoarders? Everything I said was true, right? That just about sums it up. It turns out that you really were distributing emergency provisions. 
But they were all purchased at your own expense. Strange. Is that really the kind of person I was? I don't really have any such recollection. Even after all you've told me, I still don't remember anything. Why was I purchasing emergency provisions for everyone? And why would I put myself in such a difficult situation? <sighs> I really don't understand. But I cannot deny that when I brandished my sword to scare those two away, I could sense that my body was somehow reluctant to do so. And this sword. sword was once wielded by my father. He remembers that. I remember once when I was young. I wanted to sneak out with the blade and show it off to the kids next door. My father ended up catching me in the act and scolded me severely. What did he say? <sighs> I can't seem to remember that either. It would seem that I forgot many important things when my vision was taken from me. So many memories gone. Forever. No matter how hard I try to remember. All I can remember now is my father telling me that this blade bore his life's creed. Before he passed away, he placed the sword in my hands and said to me, With this sword, you should... Hey, if you look carefully, there seems to be some words engraved on the hilt. Can you recognize the words? It's our virtue and justice. Virtue and justice? Somehow those two words seem to explain everything now. Taking on seemingly endless debts to make others happy. I guess that must have been my greatest ambition after all. But what use are virtue and justice? I purchased the provisions for those in need. And look how things ended up. The Tenryo Commission seized my vision. And the very people I was so desperately trying to help. The Digo's unpunished. Me. And the irony of all of it is. I somehow still felt sorry when threatening them with my blade. I'm incapable of being a good person. Yet I'm equally unable to be bad. I, I don't know what to do with myself. Uh, we would call that neutral neutral, sir. Yet another troubled soul. When we get the chance, let's speak to Toma about Kurosawa's debt. The Yashiro Commission would surely help cover his expenses. In any case, we must never let him sell off that sword. Yeah, seems like losing all ambition is a terrible experience. Sloths are never happy, Chip. Fortunately for us, you don't have a vision. Truth. Let's go find the next poor soul. All right, Chip. I think we're going to save the next yeah. poor soul for next time. Is it Wednesday we're doing Genshin again? I lied. Thursday we're doing Genshin again. Okay, so we'll pick up Thursday afternoon here, I think? Or maybe we should do... Maybe we should do the time one, because, uh, what's it called? One of these is only here for two weeks, right? Yeah, 13 days. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll pause this one next time and pick it back up after we finish the, uh, the sounds from afar. Has anybody cleared through this? The Monsanto event is good and totally worth it. How many, how long is it, uh... That's about, this one's only about an hour. Okay, cool. So I think we'll, we'll pit stop to do this one on... Oh, there's a third quest that's unlocking it a little bit still. Ha, huh, maybe we'll save it for next week then. I'm planning to do two days, two days of Genshin next week. Because this will still be up. It sets up for 13 days. So it's good through like the 16th then, right? It'll be unlocked by Thursday. Okay, maybe, maybe we'll save this for next week then. I'm planning to do a longer Genshin session on Monday next week. I think we'll uh we'll maybe just hammer hammer through all of this once it's all unlocked. Is the, the next part that's unlocking the last part of it then?
Okay, I think we're going to continue with... All of it unlock in the next days. Okay, I think maybe we'll continue with the Inazuma stuff on Thursday then, and we'll save... Uh, we'll save the time stuff for next week then. Because we'll, we'll still have plenty of time to do it then. All right, chat, I am off for the afternoon. I'll catch some of you around tomorrow. Tomorrow, we are going to be playing some magic in the morning, and then we're going to be playing a... Um, roguelike deck builder called Vault of the Void in the afternoon as a sponsored thing. If you're a Marvel Snap fan over on the Hooklandia Snap channel on the YouTube side, we have a season rollover with a new card release for them tonight at 10 p.m. Central, so I'm going to be streaming over there checking out the new card. Yes! So I'll be on I'll be on this evening for some Snap, and if you missed that live, I'll be up on YouTube, the YouTube after the fact. So, peace, folks. Everybody enjoy the rest of your Monday. Hopefully, some of you around tonight, and if not, uh, later this week.